and welcome back to another edition of Sarah Dyson Book Club, or like another video about the Sarah Dyson Book Club. If you guys are following the Sarah Dyson Book Club, I introduced it a month back, I think, and basically what the Sarah Dyson Book Club is, each month we will read a Sarah Dyson book and we will discuss it pretty much like a book club does. A lot of people will do videos, do blog posts, I have a Goodreads um, group set up, so yeah. And we talk on Twitter using the hashtag Sarah Dyson Book Club, so feel free to join us. It is never too late to jump into this book club because if you know Sarah Dyson does not read series, she is write standalone novels, like, you know what I'm saying, so stuff like that. So this month's pick, or October's pick, was Just Listen. So we're going to talk about Just Listen and stuff like that. I will say, if you have not read this book, do not watch this video. I will not spoil much, but just a forewarning out there. It was a, it's been a long, long time since I've read Just Listen, so with like all Sarah Dessen's books, I love them, but I've forgotten most of the plots to them. Like, I know I love them, but I forgot what went on. And I learned that I loved Just Listen just as much as when I first read it, and I'm very happy to say that. Just Listen is a fabulous book. I love all the characters. I love the relationship. I just love everything about this book. First of all, we have Annabelle, which we, um, see her going into a new school year and we know that things are not quite the same for her. Last year she wasn't exactly popular but she had friends, she had stuff going on, life was going well and stuff like that and this year is completely different and throughout a good chunk of this book you're you're trying to figure out what happened to Annabelle and why her friends don't talk to her, why she is completely isolated and all that kind of stuff so it was very good figuring out. I mean it doesn't take a genius to figure out what happens, of course, you probably already know, but it was still interesting to see the development with that. Annabelle is a very unique character, as in, she's, I think she's most like typical Sarah Dessen characters. I've learned that, this is my second re-reading re a Sarah Dessen book, and I've learned that her characters are somewhat, they have a very hard time voicing themselves, and that's not unordinary. I think a lot of teenagers, I think a lot of people in general have a hard time voicing themselves and I can understand that. I have a problem myself. I think everyone struggles with it a little bit. So throughout this whole book we are trying to get Annabelle. I think we all are as readers trying to say, Annabelle, come on. Truth time. Let's do this. Let's tell people. Let's just finally tell what you've been feeling for forever. Um, so throughout this whole book we're trying to get Annabelle to do that and through this we meet Owen who is a music kind of He's kind of a, um unpopular kid, I'd say. I think I've met an Owen or two in my life, and I think Owens are awesome. Owen is the guy that wears, like, the combat boots and the heavy jacket and the headphones all the time, and he is completely sweet. I loved Owen. I loved learning more about him and how in-depth he was about music. Like, he loves his music, guys. Like, anything. Like, he can listen to raindrops on a air conditioning unit, and he'd be like, this is amazing music. So he loves that and I think that's awesome. And we learn that he has somewhat of an anger problem and he's working towards that and he has this awesome sister and mom. It's just, I loved Owen and everything about him. And I love Sarah Dessen books as in where they put a guy in it that is not so unrealistic. Now a lot of times in contemporaries we meet this perfect, perfect guy that is just so good looking and it's got everything for him and you're like, why don't these guys exist in real life? Like where are they at? Sign me up any day. I'd be willing to walk a mile for that. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope so. But I feel like her guy characters are very realistic. Like guys you can meet any day. I feel like I have met lots of Owens in my life like I said. Anyway, so I loved Owen and Annabelle I just loved her. I loved seeing her progression. I loved her and Owen's dynamic relationship. Of course they started out as really good friends or not even friends. They just talked a little bit and they just grew from there and Owen really opened Annabelle up. He made her come to realize like you know that you need to say your truths, you need to feel, you need to say what you feel. Like you're not gonna accomplish anything if you don't say what you really feel and I love that about him. Also in this we get really a lot of family dynamics with Annabelle and her two sisters which are Kirsten, Kristen if I'm right and Whitney and I really loved reading about them especially the Whitney one. I thought that Whitney, I would love reading a book about Whitney after this honestly because I felt like her struggles with the whole weight loss and the anorexia and everything about that was phenomenal in this book. I thought it was portrayed greatly and I thought her growth and her development were just stunning. I really loved reading her and I would really love a book about Whitney. Like I would read the mess out of that. I just really wa loved watching her and then her other sister Kristen. I just loved watching their family dynamic and then of course her mom who is a model mom. Like she loves for Annabelle to do modeling and her other daughters do modeling and Annabelle really doesn't enjoy that quite honestly. So 
It was interesting to see all that dynamic. Amy, and then we have, um, um, I'm sorry, I'm just spitballing here all these random places. Hope you don't mind those videos like this. Um, then we have Annabelle's former best friend. I forget her name. Insert name here. Anyway, I didn't, I never really liked her. I felt like she changed Annabelle's life not for the better, but for, kind of for the worse, especially when she was even first introduced and how that happened. And she, when Annabelle became friends with her, she kind of abandoned the other friend and stuff like that. And I didn't really enjoy her that much. I do feel there are a lot of girls like that nowadays that are just willing to do anything to go to be popular, to be you know everything they want to be and that's not necessarily a good thing and we see that side of it in this book and what I really love is that this whole book is basically about telling what you feel about like you know true thing just listening to yourself pretty much that's the name of this book just listening to yourself and how you feel and through this remember how I said like when Annabelle met her former best friend and she kind of abandoned the other friend I forget her name I'm terrible um they get an interaction which I love and you know, she's like, why haven't you talked to me? And she's like, well, when I tried to um, talk to you one time, you didn't want anything to do with me. She's like, yeah, I needed some time. And that was it. Like, you could have come to me after that. And that, I was like, now, Annabelle, now you see, like, just because somebody doesn't want to talk to you one week doesn't mean they don't, don't want to talk to you the next. You have to keep trying and trying and trying. And I really loved reading about that. I love reading about Roland, Raleigh, Roland. Is that his name? Roland? Roland, Raleigh? Roley? Ugh, I forgot his name. I'm terrible with this. I have a bad memory, guys. I love him. I love the secondary characters in all of Sarah Destin novels. And if you are a fan of Sarah Destin novels, if you read this book, you will see, or you will read two other characters that have been in, in Sarah Destin's This Lullaby, which we have some Remy and Dexter action going on here. And if you haven't read it, then maybe you'll, you know, put two and two together with that. I love seeing that. Girl heart, like, screamed happiness. Anyway, guys, I love Just Listen. You know, love Sarah Nesson books. Sorry for the lighting. Da, 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 da. Um, I would say this is definitely a good book to start off with with Sarah Nesson Book Club, I'd say. So if you haven't read a Sarah Nesson book, definitely check this one out. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. I just really loved it. Like, I flew through this book in two days, and it was like falling in love all over again. So I'm so happy about this book club and how it's making me fall in love with Sarah Nesson books again. Like, I just can't wait to read more. If you're wondering what the next Sarah Dessen book will be for the book club, I announce those on my wrap-ups and two BRs at the end or, you know, very beginning of each month. So you can click right here to go to those videos. Um, it will be blank for a while until I do my next wrap-up, until I do my October wrap-up, so this link will be working at the end of this month. But for now, you know where to go to what videos. If you guys do a video review or any blog post or any Goodreads thing, anything, let me know via Twitter, via email, via anything you can do to get contact with me. I will shout it out from the rooftops that you did that and to get as many people involved in this book club as possible because I just love reading Sarah Dustin books and I hope you do too. I will see you guys next month for the next Sarah Dustin book club pick, which we don't know yet. Check out my GBR pile. Okay? Bye guys. Long ago, years before I can remember